Okay, so this is the supporting beams that we're gonna have to cut. We are cutting them 17 inches because we're making a three layer um, box and it's only gonna be 24 inches wide. We normally do way wider like a three foot one, but we're making a barrier wall. And when we're done, we will show you it and I will show you the next steps. Okay, let me show you the mess first, <laughs> right here. So that's a back wall, it looks like crap right now, but that's gonna go against it, so it ain't gonna be too bad. And um, this is the setup we have over here. We got the table and some other stuff. I'm gonna try to film more of the building the boxes. Dina's doing most of the work because every time I bend over, I almost pass out. Um, and he doesn't like to be filmed. He doesn't like to be on my channel at all anymore. Um, he hasn't in a long time, I, I guess because the type of channel it is, so we will see. Okay, so this is what we did. We took three pickets so far, not cut, of course. We took, I'll show you over here real fast, the brackets he cuts, and you just drill them. Honey. Well, support beams, whatever you want to call it. Okay, you're making me talk. I don't know what they're called. Anyways, that's my two by fours. You just drill it all together like this. Then we have the pieces we cut. Well, he cut and they go on the end down here. So, and then, then they're gonna make a box. He's making fun of me because I should be saying he's gonna make a box. He always makes fun of my talking. So do the easy way is you start with one, you measure it out, you get it perfect, then you throw these pieces on top. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get you in the video. So see, we're just, he's, he's throwing them on top. He doesn't want me to get boo-boos. Yeah, I can't talk, y'all, I swear. So you just line these up on there. And then this is how you do it. <laughs> Baby! Oh, yeah. You know I'm gonna have to delete that now, right? What would you do if I kept that? So other than the noise, this is what you do. All right, we might've got stupid. We made three long boxes. And then we decided, because we're using it as a wall brace for the dirt, um, we decided that to make cute little ones in between. And we just flipped this whole sucker multiple times multiple times y'all my son i mean my back was in the sun all day and it is fried it is so red so painful i can't even touch it holy crap since i got the sunburn when i mean red i don't there's no way to really show y'all you can see the white line um which is nothing nothing the back is so burned this is just the front the back is like crispy so bad and it's dropped six to 60 degrees so i'm freezing yeah i still cannot not believe we built this thing so we built like three of those right and then that's when we realized we needed a back wall because there was still space so there was still space, so we put the back wall on. And then Dino's like, you know, we could put a wall in the front and you have a little box and we could attach them completely together. And then, yeah, because this is where my tomatoes are going and in these little ones, I'm probably gonna put the marigolds and bailey and stuff um, to keep rabbits and stuff off my, and bugs and all kind of stuff off my tomatoes. It worked really well last year. Um, or in between will be where I put the carrots. I don't know yet. But it's so massive. I have tons of opportunity and tons of things to think about. Um, I had me a little deli meat just now. I still have enough deli meat for one more day because only about um, less than less than two and a half pounds. Um, 
one, two, three days ago. So I've already gotten three days of meals out of it. Um, the pack of bread I bought was just a mini pack. Um, not even half a loaf is a very, very mini pack. So I had two slices a day, which I think it had six slices plus the ends. It came in like eight slices or something. Um, so I had that. That's all gone. But um, I had energy for two days now and could do stuff and not starving. I know people say, ooh, wheat, ooh, 32 carbs plus fair life carbs, so under 50 total. Um, yeah, but I'm feeling really great right now. Okay, it's really funny. I look weird because I have no mascara and stuff on. I did put my lip liner on. Um, but anyways, I, I can't look at myself without mascara. Alright, so, it, I was telling my mom, it's so hard. It's so hard. Because I was doing amazing, amazing on Carnivore. And then all of a sudden I started to get sick when I upped my fat. So I took the fat away. I still got sick. Then all of a sudden, everything tasted like roadkill. Um, and I couldn't stomach to eat it anymore. And I was getting sicker and weaker and weaker and weaker. Because we've been needing to build these boxes for a long time. But I was too weak to even stand out here. Um, and my walking, even though I was getting my steps in, it was killing me. And so I found stuff I can eat that doesn't make my stomach sick. But we all know it's probably going to swell me because it's deli meat. And it's two slices of bread a day, which I can feel the pudginess in my stomach. But the scale is, has not gone up at all. It is still the same as it basically been for a long time now. I really lost all my weight the first month and that was it. So... So what do I do? Like I told my mom, I don't think I'm ever going to be a size 6 or 7 again like I was before Delta version of COVID. I think it's too hard. I think I don't, I don't have 100% of my life to focus on that again. When I did it before, every moment of my life was focused only on that. There was no building stuff. There was... um. No other people in my life. There was no distraction. No tons and tons of chores. It was just focus on weight loss for years. Um, and now I need the energy. I didn't need energy before. So if I went really, really low everything and I didn't feel like doing anything, it didn't matter. But now I guess I'd rather be a size 14 and be able to actually do stuff then um to look good in my jeans and i guess it should only matter yes my head's shaking i guess it should only matter what dino thinks because he is the one who likes me big he doesn't like me small um but this doesn't mean i'm going over 50 total carbs this doesn't mean i'm ever going to go get a donut a cookie my mom's house is loaded with cookies and everything have i tasted one bite of any of it no no because I'm low carb still. I'm no sugar. I'm no candies. I'm no donuts. No nothing. The only thing I'm doing is like some carrots and two slices of bread because for some reason the bread is making me perfectly fine when I eat. Um, but that is it. That is it, yeah. No going off the deep end. What is it? You'll always distract me. Always distract me. I gotta go put your uh, dishes and wash them because it looks like y'all are done eating yeah all right we went over to Lidl's and they were having an amazing plant sale and i think i might go back later and buy some more i got some butter boys big ones some peppers more peppers and butter boys plus cherry tomatoes and we have squash and zucchini i think that should protect it from the cold all right, everyone, here's an update. Um, all I've been eating, basically, is um, sandwiches. So two 
um, two to four pieces of bread, I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday I was starving after all the work outside. Um, so I had a total of two sandwiches. So right now I'm doing 100 total carbs or less is what I've decided to do right now. Um, so phase three of Dr. Eric Westman's In Your Carb Confusion is 75 total carbs or less. Um, so I'm doing a normal low carb diet basically because it is 100 carbs or less. But y'all, the scale went down two pounds this morning and for the first time I feel like I have real energy I have zero nausea I have zero heartburn right now I'm doing really well I'm not gonna eat sandwiches every day because I think one of the issues with me is my body um, reacts when I eat something too many times and I think that's what happened with having 80 something days of just uh, bacania basically eggs so so we're going to be mixing some stuff up. I bought me some butter leaf because I want to try salads. So some days I would have salads and not any sandwiches. Um, we're just going to be mixing stuff up. I might even make Wendy's bread recipe, but add a little bit of carb quick in it or some, um, I didn't buy, I don't think, hmm. But anyways, I've been thinking, thinking of adding just a few things to make it where it's something I could eat and not get sick from right now. And what's the point of me being this skinny little person if I can't do anything? Because that's what happened. I was doing great the first 60 days and I crashed and burned after that. I was getting desperately ill more and more every day. Um, it was filling me up so much, I couldn't even get to a thousand calories a day. I was so full that, um, like I said, I was under eating. And I am not a person who can sit down. I have too much work to do. I am doing physical construction work all day long, basically. No joke, y'all. So... I'm thinking my body just needs carbs all of a sudden. And my blood sugars are not going over 120. And when I'm not eating, my blood sugars, 60s, 70s, it stays there. I'm very, um, my fasting blood glucose is 90 to 80, depending on um, which doctor I go to. And my at-homes are in the 70s. So right now I'm not worried about blood sugar. My heart is doing really well right now. I was having a lot of heart palpitations again and they are gone. Um, I just feel and look better. My skin is getting better. That weird thing on my face is going away. Um, I couldn't get an appointment right now to that doctor. Um, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just need more carbs than everyone else right now. And I never thought I would say that. But right now, right this minute, I'm doing good. But that's why we're going to switch it up constantly. We're going to have days with no carbs, days with carbs, days with no carbs, carb. Like we're going to carb cycle because I know one of the issues is my body getting used to food and then not eating and then getting sick because I'm starving myself and blah, blah, blah. So we are going to play around with macros. So we had gone to Lowe's today to get more pickets, but every single picket they had was busted up. You would think, because tons of people were there to buy them, you would have think they would have went and got a forklift and lowered more down because no one could buy them. They were just all messed up. And it wasn't in a big pile. Like, it wasn't enough for anyone to buy. So, yeah. I guess they just didn't feel like laying more out. But it is our biggest selling day for pickets and stuff is Saturdays and Sundays. But that was a waste of time. I was very upset, but I did get some plants. So that was a good thing. Got my mom's grocery shopping done. My dad is getting his tractor. This is a lot of wheelbarrows that we would have to do loads. Tons of shoveling in and out. So he's getting the tractor and gonna dump the dirt straight into them. And then we're gonna backfill back here with more dirt. It's a retaining wall and tomato area. So it doubles. These are all gonna be tomatoes in these boxes as well. Then we have all those going on. We're gonna make three big filled ones over there. <sighs> Sorry, I've had two coffees today. One was a Americano um, from Starbucks with a little heavy cream. One was my normal coffee for breakfast and I haven't eaten and it's five. So, oh, 
Oh, here comes baby. Okay, Dino talked me into a new coffee cup, but the lid that came out with it, you can't, no coffee comes out. It's stupid. So I put a too small a lid on it right now just so I can drink out of it, but it was a waste of money. Waste of money. I shouldn't let him talk me into buying stuff. I was putting it back, and he's like, but you'll never find it again, and blah, 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 and you might really, really want it, and... Yeah, I shouldn't have bought it. Shouldn't have bought it. Okay, so what happened about two plus hours ago? Two plus hours ago, I was stupid and decided to try beef again. Will not do that again. My throat literally swole. It almost swelled shut. I thought I was going to have to get my EpiPen out. It felt like someone, and I barely ate any at all, felt like someone had their finger down my throat. I barely could talk. Um, I started drenching in sweat. The whole place was spinning. My ears were ringing. Um, it feels like my mouth has been shredded apart by glass, like I ate glass. <sighs> but I didn't have to use my EpiPen, thank God. So when I was a kid, I was highly allergic to um, red meat, um, beef of any kind. And I grew out of it. But I think I ate too much of it because never in my life have I ever ate that much beef before right after the other day after day because now it was horrifying y'all like it scared the hell out of me so um nope I'm done with red meat for a very long time I just wanted to try because I was doing so great so I just wanted to try no no ain't happening and I had a huge rash you can see the red still on my chin and everything but not happening nope it might have been three hours ago. I don't know. I've lost track of time. I was very upset. All right. So the scale isn't moving, of course, um, which is surprising. But this puffiness in my stomach and bloatiness um, from eating wheat is, I don't like it. However, however, I can't eat chicken. I can't eat beef. The only pork I can get away with is ham, no salt or low sodium. Boar's head ham only. And I can get away with no salt um, or low sodium boar's head turkey. Can't do the chicken. Can't do roast beefs. Um, I literally, I can't do potatoes. They're making me sick. And I'm only doing, like I said yesterday, I did have four slices of bread. So... I am eating carrots, okay? Let me show you the carrots I bought. And it takes me three to four days to go through one of these little bags. Okay, so I bought these little bags right here. These little babies. It takes four plus days to go through them. Um, so they have five servings. So if you're doing total carbs, it's like what? Less than 40 carbs for the whole bag. Um, somewhere around there. I don't feel like doing math. I'm just guessing. So, what's less than, definitely less than 50. So, anyway. Um, and like I said, four to five days. So, I'm literally doing one serving a day or less. And I don't cook them. I just eat them raw. I just snack on them. Um, this is my dinner usually at night right now. Um, I did get me some butter leaf lettuce to try. Instead of, I would prefer to be able to do salads instead of the bread. Stop fighting, kitties. Um, I have my chicken broth. This one's a little old, so I got to put this away. I have bought me cream cheese because I was going to try some beef, right? Nope, ain't happening now. Now, I did buy me this, which I have to cook this week, just to see if I can get away with this special bacon. I'm going to only last for a few days. But that is all I've bought so far. Um, the rest of the stuff is Dino's. And this is this is what I have left from my deli meat. I got two and a half pounds about six days ago, I think. Let me see. Yeah, six days ago. So um, I'm eating it very slowly. I tried ricotta cheese. I don't like it. And guess what? I'm not eating subs with anyone. I'm not eating french fries. I'm not eating the Chick-fil-A. I'm not eating the pizza. I'm not eating any horribly bad things 
Um, I'm still keeping my carbs down. I'm still eating at home. I'm still watching everything, trying to eat as clean as possible. That's why the deli meat I've chosen. This is, did I show you all the cup I was talking about that I don't like the lid? Um, it says, in a field full of roses, be the wildflower. That's totally me, so I had to have it. Um, and I put a Yeti lid on it, and the Yeti lid is working, so it wasn't a waste of money. I just got to change the lids. I have a few cups I have to do that because I can't stand the lids they come with. But um, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. So let me know in this video if you want to see things that are not keto. I do not consider them keto. They are too high in carbs. Um, if you want to see what I'm eating or not. Because there will be some days I use a pancake mix that will still be under 50 total carbs for the day. But there will be days I use that in whatever I'm cooking. Um, because I notice if I have some kind of wheat, um, I don't get sick when I eat. Um, and that's just what we're doing right now. I said it wasn't something I was going to do, but after struggling for a whole month to eat anything, my hair started to fall out again. I started to get really weak. I couldn't work in the garden. I couldn't do anything. Um, That's not the way I want to live. And I know it's my stomach issues. I know it's my mast cell activation syndrome. I know it's my histamines. And maybe this summer, as soon as the whole pollen thing's over, I can go back to trying chicken and stuff again. Um, but right now I can't do it. It makes me desperately ill. I might go find Dino. It's like almost nine pitch black outside. I don't know where he is. So I'm going to go see where he's doing. But anyways, let me know. Do you want to see it or not? Also, don't get upset if I don't answer your comment. Like, okay, some people's comments are kind of like the same. So I've been answering them in videos and just putting a thumbs up and heart. I am reading them all. It's just for some reason the internet is so bad here right now that when I try to talk to the phone, it is not typing what I say. And it is way too hard because I have dyslexia really bad and trying to spell stuff is very hard for me. Um, I can read books all day long. I don't have dyslexia when it comes to reading words because they can be completely misspelled and I know what the word should be as long as it's the number of letters. But spelling, that's a whole nother story. That is not something I can do. So that is why I've not been answering very many. This is the garden. It's very dark out here as y'all can see, but when I flip it around, it becomes very bright. We've been working out here like crazy ever since I've been eating the sandwiches and not being so sick. There's a little pathway. Those are brick stepping stones. Um, so we have been getting this all ready been spreading out the um, lights and stuff. Still got a lot to work on. Got a few more boxes to put back there for the field. Oh, not really sure who's in the yard right now. And then this is that new one. And then those down there. Hello, Joshua. Hi, Joshua. Joshua. You gonna eat? Okay, so I spread all these rocks here, all around my mom's plants down here, all through here, with a garden rake, all underneath there. That's what I did. I have so much more energy, y'all. I was just really, really, really desperately under eating. I mean, for almost a month, I barely got to a thousand um, a couple of days a week. The rest of the uh, calories, the rest of the week, the week, I was not even eating 600 calories. Um, especially when I had taken the collagen out of my coffee and took most of the butter out of my coffee. Um, and I believe in calories that you need a certain amount of calories or your body will just be sickly and weak. I do believe in that. Calories in, calories out never seem to work for me for losing weight. Um, but for having energy and being able to do things, that's another story.
All right, so I have a handful of lights that are not working. I've moved them around to make sure they get light tomorrow because it is making me worry that they are broken. And they cost way too much to already be broken. I won't be buying anymore if that's true because so far it's six of them. Six of them. I have these over here charging so that I can do something with all these. 